Welcome to the match. I'm Harlan Charles, the Corvette Product Manager. This is Kirk Banyan, Exterior Design Manager. And uh, you see, uh, we've got a lot of people from the team here wearing these gray shirts. You know, been outside asking questions. Anybody in the back there? Got Todd here and Kelly and back <laughs> there. So um, hopefully, we you guys have been having a good time. So what should we talk about? <laughs> How about Corvettes? We'll talk about Corvettes. Okay, so i just go over some data here before we get into the uh, all the new stuff. Um, a lot of people like to see how things are going. Uh, this is all our, our data through uh, pretty recently. We've already got over 37,000 uh, 2016 Corvettes this year. You can see 24,000 were Stingrays. Over 13,000 were Z06s, and a third cars are, are, are Z06s. And it kind of breaks up almost uh, a third, a third, a third. And Stingray, Stingray with Z51 and, and Z06s, it's about 80% uh, coupes, 20% convertibles. And you can see in the different um, trim levels, you know, we have 1LT, 2LT, 3LT. You can see in the Z06, it's the higher ones, do a little better on the Stingray. Some of the little ones do a little better, but uh, pretty happy with how things are going so far this year. And here are some of the uh, options just to look at. You look at M5 US, the um, eight-speed paddle shift automatics. Over 80% of the Stingrays are checked in that box. And um, you see the different chassis. FE1 is your standard chassis. FE2 is uh, Stingray with magnetic ride. Then you have Z51, Z53, and FE4 is Z51 with magnetic ride. So they kind of got a good distribution there. Over 80% are going for the NTT dual mode exhaust. Uh, over 60% are getting a performance data recorder. The color brake package is doing pretty well. And you look over at the wheels. Black wheels are, are king. We love the black wheels. There's one of them now. <laughs> And here's some of the same options on the Z06. On the Z06, over 70% are getting the 8-speed paddle shift automatic. People are saying, why would you order an automatic on a Z06? Here you go. Here's your answer. The carbon fiber ground effects doing really well. Z07 package, 36% doing pretty good. 84% are data recorder. Uh, about 30% are getting the competition seats with the Z06. And again, black wheels, most pop popular. There. Okay, and everybody loves the colors. Uh, Arctic white, black, torch red. We do all these new colors, and what do you guys like? The three oldest colors we have. <laughs> like, I, you know, you think about it, those are classics. I mean, that's classic sports car colors. They're always gonna be the best. You can't go wrong with those. But you can see some of the ones that, um, we are, uh, we did phase out the Daytona Sunrise Orange, the Night Race Blue are starting to fall off at the bottom there. And um, interiors, the black obviously is most popular, the adrenaline red, 20% is pretty good also. And okay, how many people in here have a C7R edition? I know I talked to a few this morning. And this, we're, we're sold out of the uh, C7R, I thought it'd be interesting to kind of do some calculations and see how they all came out, you know, you could get yellow or black, you could get um, Cooper convertible, and then uh, manual automatic. So about uh, two thirds at the eight speed, about the same were yellow versus black, and about 88% were coupe versus convertible. So your rare one up here is actually 13 or 14, the, the manual convertible. There's 13 yellows and 14 blacks, so that's the rare one. You got one of those, congratulations. You got any of them. <laughs> oh, and uh, the other thing, we're showing, we have these cars out here, and um, it, it's continuing into uh, 16, into 17. We've got a little bit of late start. What I'm talking about is the three design packages that we came out with. You know, we have the Twilight Blue, the Spice Red, and the Jet Black Suede uh, package. We've done a total of those three, about over 1,100 of those. And another divide it up. There's some rare ones there. You got one. It's kind of interesting. You got one uh, shark gray convertible with the Twilight Blue package stingray. It's kind of rare. 
but anyway, it's kind of interesting to see how, you know, all those cars are kind of, kind of interesting and um, special. But anyway, no, I do want to let everybody know that these three packages will, are continuing into 2017. We got a little bit of late start with them, but um, they're really uh, kind of a special way to, to make your car stand out. And you know, we, we love to compete on the racetrack because we race against the same cars that we compete on the showroom. So we're winning in the showroom pretty, pretty well. 38% market share. Um, this is uh, calendar year to date so far. Um, doing, uh, doing pretty good, a little bit off um, versus, uh, versus last, year, last full calendar year, slightly off, but uh, it was a great, 20, this is 2015. And then for uh, 2016 so far, uh, we're over 40% market share, even though we're down a little bit. And uh, one of the reasons is, as you remember, in 2015, in the winter time, was when we were launching all the Z06s, so everybody was waiting to pay, you know, to get those. So those were a big explosion of Z06s then. But um, we're having a really good month this month, so we continue to really dominate what we call the luxury sports car segment. And as you know, the real Triple Crown winner was the Corvette last year. <laughs> Daytona, Sebring, Le Mans. And then um, we're, off to, we're off to a uh, pretty good start this year. I got an update by Long Beach. How many people saw Long Beach? That would have been uh, our 100th uh, win as the, as the Corvette racing team, but uh, they took it from us, but we'll get it back, so don't worry. But um, good, a good start um, uh, so far for this, for this year, and uh, I hope we forget that um, finish in Daytona. You're in Daytona, you can't forget it, really, it's going over and over. But, um, we had a chance, uh, Taj and I uh, had a chance to spend some time with Oliver Gavin in Geneva when we were introducing that car that's back there. And uh, we were like, God, you guys do that? Aren't you worried or whatever? And they said, like, I really wanted that watch, that Rolex watch. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was about. <laughs> and. Um, this is at, at Sebring, that's the car, it's out in the circle, got a chance to, uh, that was the first time in America, show the Admiral Blue uh, Grand Sport, all the race drivers on the track there in Sebring, it's a really neat picture. Which leads us to, what is new for 2017? <coughs> the Grand Sport is back, returns, and you can see this is our... This is our, uh, our fourth iteration of a Grand Sport. We have 63, 96, 2010, 2017. Uh, so it's our, our fourth go around. And if you look at the, the evolution of the Grand Sport, I mean, um, what a historic name for Corvette. Um, start off with the factory race car, 63, Xora's uh, way to challenge uh, for, for racing. Uh, only five cars got built. Because um, he was kind of ignoring the fact that we were uh, the fact that the manufacturer signed an agreement to uh, build race cars, but he got five in there anyway under the wire. Under the wire, but the, the, those five cars had made, had made such an impact. I mean, they're so collectible, and everybody knows about them. And so we did a at the end of the fourth generation car, we did that special uh, Corvette Grand Sport for '96, where only a thousand were built, and all blue, white stripes, red hash marks. Limited the LT4 engine, 300 horsepower. 330. Sorry. That was the um, LT1 was 300. Good catch. Damn. <laughs> All right, we got it. Typo. And then um, 2010, the, uh, the, the more sweet, you know, the sixth generation, and it was really, um, Kind of a unique car. We made it a whole model and really taking advantage because the Z06, everybody loved the Z06, but it was um, annual only, fixed roof only, no convertible, no removable roof panel. So we had this opportunity. We, we created this new model, uh, kind of mixing the best of both worlds, and it became our, our best selling car uh, in, in the, in the, uh, towards the end of the C6 life cycle. 
So, which leads us to our 2017 grants for, and um, when we did the Z06, we had plan, okay, now we have uh, both transmissions, we have removal roof, we have convertible. So there was some things like, I don't know if we need to do a grant sports so you get all that Z06, but I think it was about five seconds after the Stingray was introduced, we were like, when's the grant sport coming out? <laughs> Everybody wanted to see a seventh generation grand sport. So um, Kirk and I and everybody on the team and Taj, uh, I think we like to listen to our customers because they're the ones buying the cars. And uh, so we listened and we said, yeah, wouldn't a seventh generation grand sport be cool? And it's really been a sweet spot for a lot of people. And then we thought, let's um, really take advantage and bring back um, everything people love, love about grand sport from all the, kind of from all the generations. So, um, transport model will be coupes and convertibles. Um, it will be uh, packaged, if you're familiar with how the Stingray is packaged, like we know we have the 1LT, 2LT, 3LT, like that type of stuff. It's very, it's the same as the uh, package, the same way that the Stingray is. Um, we're gonna go over all, all, the, all the stuff late, um, in the presentation. It's kind of a summary. You know, we've got special interior features, special stripe package that you've seen, uh, the wheels, of course, the, Edition, we're going to go over over all that stuff. But let me talk about the performance of the Grand Sport. Um, of course, you got the you know 460 horsepower LT1. You have the wider tires, a 285 in the front, 335 in the rear. Um, same as the Z06 tire sizes. Uh, functional brake ducts, extra cooling, the, the large uh, six-piston front brakes. Um, the standard will be a uh, black painted calipers, red and yellow is available. Seven speed manual ratios um, will be the same ratios that we use in the Z51 transmission. And then the eight speed paddle shift has the performance 273, also from the Z51 option. Uh, magnetic ride control is standard on the Grand Sport, so that's great. You know, you have standard magnetic ride control, standard electronic limited slip differential. And this is something really new for a Grand Sport. For the first time, you can get ceramic brakes and cup tires with the Z07 package on a Grand Sport. So uh, that's, that's the first time we've done that, really raising the, the bar on that car. So um, for testing, so the standard one would be 1.05G, get the Z07 package with cup tires, 1.2G on the skid pad. Really incredible. Uh, 3.6 seconds, zero to 60. Uh, about a tenth quicker, uh, really the, uh, the cup tires, uh, the wider, uh, really uh, help benefit that, so uh, incredibly fast. And uh, when they were testing the car on the Mil Milford Road course, um, they were within a second of the previous gen ZR1 with the lap times, so, um, so it's a very, very great track car. So I'm going to let uh, Kirk talk about the design and uh, come up here and tell you more about the design details. Obviously the front fender is the, the area we usually key in on the most, so you'll see a very unique uh, side coat detail that's offered both in a combination of body color and carbon flash. And with that said, you know, we're going to have, you're seeing out there today that we've got four new exterior colors, and of course we want to give the exterior a good starting point with, with a good monotone uh, appearance. You'll also notice that we're introducing the car with the cup wheel. Uh, the cup wheel for us, we, you know, we used it in, in the Centennial Cars in that, uh, it's a very good wheel, very lightweight, very strong. Uh, it's got a unique feature where we actually added material to the spoke opposite of the tire pressure sensor uh, to reduce wheel weights. Uh, it's a, like I said, it's a unique feature. And we have a patent on this wheel, but uh, because it is so good, we brought it back. And with that said, for a Z15 package, all right, sorry. Here's where you can see the, the side vent we talked about. You'll see the Grand Sport lettering is in between the dual ports there. The rest of the wide body is pretty much what you what you know to be Z06, but the front fender is unique. Um, the quarter, quarter of it is now body color on top for the Grand Sport. 
for it as well. And it will be, it will come with a standard rocker splitter. You'll be able to get the CFC or the CFE carbon fiber piece, but we will have a standard rocker on there as well. And then for uh, the package, we're going to give you plenty of opportunities to personalize this car, uh, starting with the hash marks. And uh, we're going to offer a couple of colors you haven't seen before with uh, the hyper green and the volcano orange. And then from the hash marks, you'll be able to step that up to a full to a full center stripe, which includes the hood bit. And this is unique just to the Grand Sport. Uh, a couple of colors you haven't seen us do work with there is the Laguna Blue and the, the Arctic White center stripe. So with that said, you know, we want to embrace this heritage package, which what you know, we, we kind of look at as a very iconic uh, color scheme, you know, uh, the blue and white, those are those are very American uh, racing colors, mass <laughs> Corvette racing. With that said, well, like I said, starting with the hash marks, we're gonna we're gonna offer torch red, carpet flash, volcano orange, shark gray, yellow. And then the hyper green. And you'll be able to pick and choose this with any of the scary colors you desire. And then we also offer the hash mark on the inside too. You'll notice it's on the upright uh, hand grab area of the interior. Now with that said, here are some of the order codes. And we, we basically have identified for starting purposes top 10 combinations you can start with. Here again, the idea is for you to personalize a modern, more modern version of Grand Sport. So this is the first shot at uh, what the colors are. So I'll go over these individually. You know, first, of course, you get the animal blue, white center stripe, red hash marks. Very, very classic look. And we're going to reverse it for you. The Arctic white with a good blue stripe, red hash marks. And you notice the side coat stays body color in all instances, as does the quarter bit, and that's unique to Grand Sport. Now we'll get you a, a little bit more uh, aggressive, gloss black with uh, with the red the red stripe down the center, and then the sharp gray hash marks. And here we go with uh, the Arctic white volcano volcano orange, carbon carbon flash center stripe. And then we'll get to the black exterior, yellow hash marks, and then this is a, a sharp gray center stripe from black. It's a nice tonal uh, look. And then the sterling blue, which you're seeing for the first time. And I might add, the sterling blue car that's out there right now is the very first car painted by the plant. So you're, you're seeing it uh, as fast as we are. And then this offers the torch red hash marks as well as the gray full length stripe. And here again, notice that the hood bed does match all the center stripes in these combinations. Uh, also new for 17 is the Watkins Glen Gray. This is a nice charcoal, deep charcoal metallic. We're extending it with uh, this torch red stripes. And the full length gray stripe here again, including the hood bed. And the uh, color you haven't seen us do too much with is the hyper green. And uh, it's, it's almost a fluorescent yellow look. Uh, we like what it does with uh, the Watkins Glen Gray flash center stripe. Of course, you can you got to touch torch red, very popular color for us. And you notice here again the Arctic white stripe with the matching wood bench and the carbon flash hash marks. Of course yellow. You like you always like dabbling with Corvette racing yellow. Shark gray hash marks and black side. Now for the collector edition the intent here is this is a could be about a thousand units, I think. And this this car, we we've pretty much constructed this car as this is what embraces this option. So uh, you, you really can't modify this this package. It's, it's kind of set the way the way it is. So we started off with the Watkins Glen Gray. Of course, the, the big addition is the tension blue. You know, it's a very striking, strong, bright blue, and that that we offer now. With that said, you'll still get the cup wheels, you'll get uh, the high gloss carbon fiber IP, which will be unique to this car as well. It's something that we haven't seen, we haven't done before as well. You'll also get uh, blue stitching on the suede to match the, the tension blue on this. 
rear view of it. Uh, you can see we're, we're, we're still holding this, what we call our uh, stage two, nickname I mean stage two arrow package, which so you, you still get the worker builds that you can tune, and you can get the full, full rocker and split package as well. Of course, the, the big story on the collector edition, like I said, is this tension blue interior. Very striking, and then goes with the aggressive nature of the car. And you can see that you're getting the hash mark touch, the uh, high gloss carbon fiber IP in this as well. And you'll notice the blue accent, Grand Sport is now accented blue on the steering wheel. There's another view of the, the suede steering wheel, the suede shifter. Another detail we'll, we'll touch on is the, is the little uh, center console plate. see the design here. Uh, the surround that you see here in the blue, all the Grand Sports will get this plaque. Uh, it'll be color coded to the interior that you get with your Grand Sport. And then so right now if you get a gray interior, you can have a gray stripe within that logo. And you can see it was, the logo was inspired by the 65 Grand Sport convertible and that which was very iconic as well. Uh, and notice the detail on the headrest, this is embossed into the into the leather. And also what's what's new for is a quilted headliner in suede that which matches your surround. So you can actually get that in multiple colors to match the interior as well. That could be light gray, it could be black. <coughs> and for the, you know, we debuted this car at the Geneva Motor Auto Show and uh, Got one of the top ten favorite cars there, which was which is a nice surprise for us. For the exterior, like I said, you've seen some of the colors um, that, we're, that we're coming out with. We're replacing shark gray uh, with um, Lockhart's Glint gray. Uh, pictures kind of tell the story the story better, and that what you're seeing. We, we showed the Long Beach red last year. Sterling blue is new. Uh, the new Admiral Blue, which will replace Night Race Blue. And then we've got Blackfoot Glen, which will replace Sharp Gray. And then down at the bottom, I think the big surprise for a lot of folks is the Black Rose, because we haven't, we haven't touched on Black Rose in, in some time. And then, so that's a nice new color for us. And on the interior, um, you know, like I said, you get the quilted headliners, uh, Kalahari, Gray, uh, red seat belts are not going to be an option. And if you like to track your car and you like having the seat belts visible, that's huge as well. And also available, you can, you can see here for the Z06, uh, how the red the red belts tie in with the red stitching, and the low gloss carbon fiber trim, very handsome combination. And you can see the different quilted headliner combinations. Very nice detail. And also the garnish packages. The Grey Coupe 3LT, Kalahari 3LT. Okay, Arlen, I think I'm going to let you take it from here. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Kurt. And one one of the things um, to um, I think we went over was the uh, the red stripe wheels. We now have red stripe wheels on every model available from the factory free flow, which is which is good. And um, some of the electrical things, um, the new infotainment update. Um, we actually had mid year where we now have uh, we have phone projection for Apple CarPlay. We started with now we have Android and Auto. Standard on the 2017, and then also there's going to be like a new uh, app store that's available in 2017. So we'll have things like uh, book, books. I think you download Weather Channel. It'll be like just like your phone. We'll have like apps for the car. So that's kind of cool. And uh, the performance data recorder. We had a few little updates based on uh, feedback we've gotten. Uh, there'll be a mute option for the recording. You don't want to get all the excitement that you're going to have when you're driving the car. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the other thing is, while it's recording, it'll tell you what 
overlay you're doing because it's, you know sometimes you, you don't know there's you can select what overlay it has and uh, people are familiar with it and you get back when you're done oh I didn't mean to I wanted to have all the track data on it and get all that so she will know right away but all the time what overlay is we had an odometer so you can see like the miles count uh, that you're on the track and then you can also when you play it back you'll see by uh, driver mode you're in you know score track so you can maybe compare Oh, I did faster on track. How much faster were you on track or days or things like that? So those are things on all the uh, the Corvettes for 17. Now here's kind of a you know I always like that Zora. I'm probably going to say it wrong. The Zora quote where he says all Corvettes are high performance. It's just a matter of degree. And here, you know, choose your weapon. We have uh, all these different levels of performance now with with the Corvette. Um, and you can see how, the, how everything compares, zero to 60, quarter mile, uh, the skid pad, and then the, uh, the weight. So one of the interesting thing about uh, the weight that what works out is, you know, a Z51 basically had 75 pounds, and then uh, the Grand Sport, only about 25 pounds more than a Z51 package. A lot of, I think a lot of people, when I read the forum, think it's, think it's like a thousand pounds more. <laughs> <laughs> um, the acceleration figures on these are done um, actually with the eight-speed automatic. So you can you launch control on the on the automatic. I think um, it doesn't make quite as big of a different R guy. So just kind of punch it. You can use the launch control. I would. Z51, it's amazing. That, I mean, um, it's kind of both. <laughs> I mean, um, from my point of view, it's really Stingray, Grand Sport, and Z06 are the models. However, um, in the order system, the way we had to do it, because it counts in a different class, it comes out in the order system, you have to select right away um, Stingray or Z51. So in there it kind of shows us a list of the model. But I think I think you know the, the broad term for Corvette, you know, we'd say we have Stingray, Grand Sport, and Z06 are our models. And then you have Z51 as a performance package. You have Z07 as a performance package for Grand Sport or for Z06. That's how I like to say it. So we have three models, three performance packages. Um, <laughs> Like, if, you, if anybody that wants it to be a model and it makes them sleep each year, I can tell people it's a model. <laughs> if not, if you have the standard Stingray, then you got the same thing. So whatever you want. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's funny. But <laughs> right. So uh, okay, I'll just keep going. <laughs> Yeah, the, I put the just for the purpose of this chart. I put the top performance uh, numbers for over oh, Grand Sport for um, skid pad would be 1.05, for example, LT07. I think that a zero to six would be close, maybe a tenth difference, maybe not, maybe a big half a tenth. If you With the no, it's faster with the with the Z07 package because of the tires. So they get better better launch and better grip. Get a little bit better, and the and it's faster with the eight speed versus the seven speed also. The weight. Well, these are the, the base dry weights, like our, our Italian friends do. <laughs> so I'm taking a lesson from that one. All right. Thanks. Okay, what else do we got? Oh, big announcement today. This is being announced today, press release. Probably somebody on their phone might have read it already, probably just went out. But we saved this for this event. There's our 2017 uh, base pricing. 
Have you noticed on Stingray and Z06, the price went up on an amazing $50? Hope you guys give me a laugh. Hope it doesn't change anybody's purchase decision. But of course, what everybody's waiting to see is the Grand Sport pricing, $65,450 for the coupe, $69,450 for the convertible. That's without the, um, you do have to add the $995 for the DMC, all these numbers. Okay. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about uh, performance. Everybody remember this uh, lightning lap car and driver from last year where the cover was the Corvette Z06 kill supercars dead? Everybody remember that? Anybody? They did, they did this chart, we did, uh, car and driver did this chart plotting all the, uh, the cars and based on the, the time, the lap time the Z06 got, it should cost thousand dollars but don't worry we're not going to ask you for that money back <laughs> but um, one of the things and again I should do this but we're all friends so I think you guys will keep it secret oh, yeah. uh, we shouldn't really compare our times to car drivers time different driver different situation but um, it'll help for what I'm going to show next so for example um, Car and driver says they got 244.6 for the Z06, second fastest car they ever um, tested, and the fastest car under $900,000 they ever tested. So, um, but Mero, um, our, if I know Jim Mero, our great test driver, he, he did um, 241 at the track doing the same thing. So he got, he got in about another three, three and a half seconds. So just kind of a, so, we ha they haven't tested the Grand Sport at the Lightning Lab yet, but we have. So, if anybody wants to watch the whole lap, you want to watch the whole thing?
so that was fun. 245. And that and that video is right from, as you, many of you know, from the performance data recorder, right on right on board the car. So if we look at this again, again, not, yeah. Should we put it on YouTube? <laughs> Watch it on YouTube. Yeah. It was just you. I don't know. <laughs> so, okay. So, um, again, like the, again, this is not really scientific, but I think, again, just keep it real for us, so it's fine. Um, so you look at, the, you know, the, um, Merrill's time is about three, you know, they got about three more seconds on, uh, for car and driver testing. So even if you had like three or four seconds, say 245, so if, if we were around uh, 249 or whatever, we'd be right, you know, GTR, Mosler, Ferrari, Porsche, 911 GT3, and that's what we'd be in. We'd be probably leave the GT3 for dust, I think. So we'll see what happens, but I think that, that when we do the test next year, um, it should be pretty, and it's be pretty good performer in its own, in its own right. Okay. <laughs> uh, that was done with the seven speed manual. That laptop. Yep. Jim likes the set, likes the shift. So, um, I'm going to open up for, for questions. Um, oh, one thing, uh, how many people saw this? Uh, how many people didn't see it? What this was, this was, um, we wanted to pay, pay a tribute uh, to Prince. Yeah. So, great superstar, has our favorite song, Little Red Corvette, obviously. And so we ran this um, kind of as a tribute to him. Thank you, Kim, for, for the great song. So that's it. So, could there possibly be any more questions? Yes. Car cover? Car cover? The Grand Sport? Oh, is there a car? Yeah, you want to talk about the car cover for the Grand Sport? Uh, yeah, we do have one plan. And we had hoped to have it here to show you today, uh, but it's still on route. But it'll be a fully rendered car cover uh, in grain sport, like in dark grays, with uh, highlighted by red accents. Uh, if you've seen the red, I'm sure everyone's seen the fully rendered C7R cover up front, but it'll be along those lines. for the 2016, uh, some of these new changes, I don't think will go to the 16, but there are, there was a later update to the 2016 um, and 2015. There's an update that will work for both 15s and 16s that updates, if you haven't got it yet, the, the visual quality and uh, a few of the timing things and things like that. These uh, new things where we're adding the uh, mute button, that kind of stuff, that'll be for 17. So option pricing, yeah, the full price schedule um, will go will go out March. Um, sorry, May 13th. So the dealers will have the full uh, schedule. In general, um, like option, you know, it's the same option for 16 and 17. It's not changing. So you could do a pretty rough calc to see what your car. If you're trying to work it out, you know, use the space price and then go to the 16. Oh, 20, 2017 Z06 is, um, Z06 is coming out a little bit, we're starting production a little bit later in, uh, in 17. The Z06 will get all the uh, common things we talked about, all the new colors. It'll get the interior upgrades that Kirk talked about, the headliner, things like that. One thing um, we should, I should point out too that was actually new for 16, but a lot of people didn't know about it. It kind of came out a little bit later is you can get the, uh, the J57 so carbon ceramic brakes 
as a free option. So you don't have to go to the Z07 package to cup tires in the Aero. You can get, you'll be able to get on the Z06 a ceramic brake standalone option, which a lot of people have, have asked for. And the other thing too, um, like Kirk was talking about, the new rocker will be standard on the Z06 also. So the, the Z06 will also get the, uh, the standard rocker. Nothing else to report at this time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's a that's a good point. Question is on the uh, the Grand Sport with the Z07. What are the physical difference? It's a little bit different than on the Z06, and uh, we're talking about this that on the um, on the, on the Grand Sport, it's, it's the uh, ceramic brakes and the cup tires come with the Z07 package. On the Z06, we require you to get that uh, carbon fiber ground effects because it really needs that car, 650 horsepower needs a downforce. It's still available on the Grand Sport, but it's not a required option. And then the other thing that's a difference, on the Z06, when you get that Z07 package, we have that level three arrow, which has the clear bridge and the bigger. Those are not on the Grand Sport. It's really, um, you know, through it's really too much downforce for the for the Grand Sport. So we're not going. It really doesn't need that. So um, that'll be still for the Z06 only. The order guide's available now, and the orders can start next week. In the back there. I think you could. You have your choice on it. We're not. We're not going to restrict or limit. Uh, for the black rose, I think the, the shark gray stripe would would be good for that as an accent. Uh, and depending on what you do for your interior, you know, it's, it's usually you could even go carbon flash on that if you like tonal tonal colors. Yeah, like Kirk showed the ten. I asked Kirk to come out with your top ten favorite combos, but you're no means restricted to those. So if you think about it, if you got ten exterior colors, you got six hash mark colors, you can have five stripes or no stripes. So with that heritage package right there, it's like three hundred and sixty possibilities. Now we may not like all of them. So you have to use, you know, but you really can um, be creative and uh, do your own. But those, we thought it would be really good to have, I thought for Kirk, you know, to get a starting point, like Kirk did with the 10, the 10 recommended ones, to kind of start it and you can tweak them from there, and just to give you some ideas of all the different possibilities. And I think we'll, can't wait till next year's bash, we'll see all the fun, the fun ones you guys picked out. <laughs> I'll let it on the right. What will be on constraint? Well, tell me what you're ordering, and we can <laughs> just. <laughs> but, just Harvey Gluck's not here. That's usually the joke for him. Everybody knows Harvey. I always tell him that we wait to see what his order is, and then we put those things on constraint. That's what he thinks. <laughs> but um, in all seriousness, um, the few things that are always um, when we do new colors, there's always, a, um, as you guys know, there's always like a ramp up. So we tried to do it. We figured that the, the Admiral Blue and the Watkins Gun Blade would be the most popular right away. So the blue is actually available for 20 and 2016 orders right now. The gray will be available right for a start, so there won't be a real constraint on that one. But then the other two, uh, the Sterling Blue comes in, and then the Black Rose comes in. So it'll probably be limited numbers of those until we bank those, those up. So it'll probably be, you know, over a course of, you know, four to eight weeks probably will be ramping those up. But um, other than that, I, I don't really um, anticipate any constraints, but we never know. But I hope, hopefully there's no other other than that. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah, no, uh, for, you know, we, we went to uh, kind of a common breakup for 16, and that continues for 17. So it's a, it's not a full dip, but it is the, it's like the car, if you look at the Black Rose car out there, that'll be 
for a 3LZ or 3LT, that would be the same um, look. <coughs> So the question is, you want a Z07 package without ceramic brakes? But that's kind of the package. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You can get the you, you can get the um, the aero package, the carbon fiber, but you can't. The chassis is is slightly different, so that you no. Know, right. They, they go because they're they, it's all tied together as a system. The brakes, you know, it's a stability control. The the, the um, uh, traction control, everything's a system, so it's all goes together. So you made your own, so he made his own. So what do you need us for? You made your own. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know, it's funny. Um, no, it's a good question. I'm, a, I'm just kind of kidding around a bit, but you know, it's funny, we get, um, we talk a lot about this on our team, you know, how many, combinations we have, and I always get accused of having so many combinations. It's funny, whatever combination we don't have, somebody wants. It's, it's funny. No, I didn't mean you were the only one. I mean, people do. I didn't mean it like that either. No, I understand, but no, we have to, you know, with the, with the time it takes to do the engineering calibrations, and I mean, like, if Milford guys are probably just working right now, or guys in the program grounds thinking about all these different combinations. There's a lot of work that goes into all the things that we, we do, so. Yeah, second row. Right, it's a good, good question. The question was, is the Avro Blue the exact same as the 96? It is not. It's our new Avro, it's our new Avro Blue. You could say it's Admiral Blue 2.0, or 21st century. Right, so it's not exactly, but it, it, it did kind of, you know, with the Grand Sport coming out, and it is in the family, we just kind of we thought that would be a great historical thing to bring back. Yeah, the question is, yeah, the, the Grand Sport picks up where the Z51 left off, and, and then some. Right. Yeah, okay, heritage pack, package uh, pricing. A uh, heritage package is uh, 795 But then the, in the center, without the center strike, in the center strike, if you, you can get that with. So a heritage package, um, you don't have to have the, you get the hash marks, you get the aluminum. Everybody's seen the, uh, the cars, the aluminum stripes in there. And it, it does, what these cars don't have though, we'll have a special floor, um, carpeted floor mat that'll have transport logos that'll come with it that we don't have yet out here. So that comes with that package too. And then it, you can get any of the colors. And then um, you can pick, pick it, then you can pick the center stripe you want if you want so. Oh, red belts? Yeah, we just have to talk about that. Yeah, the red belts, that's a new option um, for this year. I think it's uh, $3.95 for red belts. A lot of options are $3.95. It's a good name. Oh yeah, the question, yeah, the answer is just the question what um, uh, color combination override, like if you want a red interior and a yellow car or something like that. Um, things, yeah, so what we try to do is, there's, a, there's an option, so you can get whatever combo you want as far as colors. Uh, the reason we do that is, you know, we have Kirk and all the buddies at design, they look at them and they want to make sure, you know, what, when dealers, especially it's for dealers and customers, they're stocking cars, we want to make sure they get you know, they, they, it helps them order, but we added this option because we 
middle of all you guys. We want something, again, you want a combination we didn't have. So it's an override. If there's something you really want, think about it. You can go crazy and get a, get the, get a not recommended combo. Okay, question. When they start rolling off the line, it's right uh, last week in June. Uh, production will start for 2017. And then the plant is taking um, this year a two week uh, shutdown. So we'll probably see cars um, towards late July or late August. You want to pay $7.95 for a quiet ride package to cover up the tire noise. Anybody else want to pay $7.95 for a quiet? Anybody? Okay. Nobody can hear, so. <laughs> but so we, okay, I guess it would be like the car to be quieter. But actually, you pay extra for the car to be quieter, is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Well, Grand Sport's going to start right at the beginning. So, yeah, Grand Sport and Stingray, the Z06 will be a little bit, that's kind of what we did. We need the Z06 will come out a little bit later. video upgrade uh, for the 50s and 60s, but you're going to, um, yeah, our video is HD, but it's 720, so that's where we are right now, but um, things, obviously things go forward in the future. One of the, the, the reasons we picked that, though, is um, versus, say, like a GoPro or a, or a phone or normal video camera, is uh, we're also recording the data, and we wanted to get the speed, you know, Developing it, important thing was it to be able to record all the, you know, there's, there's, if you go to the Cosworth Toolbox program, there's all this data that it was recording, different channels of data that you can read, and just the processing the video, you know, we want to make sure it was fast enough to get all the data, all that kind of came into play with what we, you know, we pick where we are. But of course, as that technology gets better, I'm sure that will be something someday in the future. We'll, The, uh, the Android Auto part is available for any 2016 right now to upgrade. Um, the part with the App Store will not be because that had to add, uh, not to get into it too deep, but a, a people who have cyber security, you know, when you're, you're buying apps and things like that. So that's a, that was a more of an intensive change to get that part of it. On the PDR, the upgrade. Yeah, we, we do. There, like I said, there is an upgrade for the 15 and 16 PDR that upgrades a, a few things. But some of the new 17 items. Right, the Z07 package is the same price for the Grand Sport and the Z06, but again, the, the one difference is um, on a Grand Sport, it's not required to get the carbon fiber ground effects on the Z06. It, it needs it, so that would be a difference. So it would be a little bit less expensive on a Grand Sport if you only wanted the, uh, the ground effect. And actually, um, our Emerald Blue car outside um, is a 1LT car. 
It's kind of like your all I care about is performance car. So it's, it's of course it has the heritage package, right? but other than that, it has the competition seats. It's one LT, has the 07, has the carbon ground effects, but then it's that's it. So it's kind of the thought that'll be kind of like your your ideal performance grade sport right there. And another thing too, the the white car right outside. Uh, the one that's kind of the inverse of that, like Kirk was saying, the, the white car, uh, blue and red, that is actually then number one. So that's the first 2017 Corvette in first grade sport. That's a, considered a saleable car. So it's kind of a neat car to have here. Okay. Well, I think so, but that's kind of a question for Apple. But I hope they would do that. But yeah, we, they really run that stuff. So I'm hoping, yeah, the Apple CarPlay, I think it goes back to five, five and newer. So we're hoping that they keep that all um, compatible, obviously, going forward. I think it will, but again, not working for Apple, they can do whatever they want. But I hope they do. I would, I would be pretty sure it would. We'll see. Oh, the C7R cover? What was in there? Was it a 60? I thought it was like a 63 or something. It's a blue stingray? No, we're just showing the cover. So the cover is the thing, not what's under the cover. It's kind of bad. Okay, how about who wants to answer the last question? Uh -oh. Okay, I guess we're done. There's <laughs> always one more. We should stop. What? Somebody's been reading a lot of magazines. Alright, you can have the last one since this didn't happen. Yeah, we, we did design the car covers to fit the wide body. So the car cover that fits the Z06 will also fit the, the Grand Sport. Yeah, the Z51 will still, still slide under the state grand car. You know, we're going to be, uh, look for people in the gray shirts. We're going to be hanging around on the rest of the team, around all the, the new cars outside uh, for most of the day. And if you've got more questions or want some one-on-one -on -one time, please come up to us and, and ask us uh, questions all day. And we'll be happy to try to answer whatever we can. Um, okay, so uh, I guess we'll wrap it up. Thanks for coming. And we'll